Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss another really interesting topic in ANSYS Fluent that is the use of report definition. So report definition is really powerful tool. It can help you to monitor your solution and also it can save a lot of time for you while post processing. So let's see how we can use uh, this report definition and uh, we can how we can maximize its uh, usage and also of course it is equally helpful for uh, steady state and transit simulation but uh, in transit simulation it is more helpful as in transit simulation you need data at a different time st step so if you are using report definition you don't need to save all those time steps so you can extract data and write those data points or write those data so you don't need to save those time steps so let's see how we can use these let's so let's see how we can use this report definition so here you can see i have some geometry so i'm not going into the detail of this simulation so just i can briefly show you what uh, this simulation is so, so i have shown you in my previous video as well but as I said, we will discuss the detail about this simulation later on. But uh, at the moment, so what I have in this one, so it has, it is kind, of, it is a module of, uh, it is a module of a battery pack. So it has uh, prismatic cells. Uh, so if you see, so let me display. So let me display some of the cells. You can see these blocks they are uh, representing the battery cells and these battery cells uh, uh, they are uh, bottom cooled so here you can see uh, this one is the bottom plate so let me here so it has a cooling plate on the bottom side so the, it has the bottom plate and fluid is uh, flowing through these channels liquid is flowing through these channels so while charging and discharging these the cells produce energy so we have to remove this energy to operate these cells at the optimum temperature so that's why this uh, bottom cooling plate is needed to cool down this one so here we have this uh, fluid region as well so just let me display one of the fluid regions so here so here you can see the fluid region is added into this uh, uh, channel so anyway we want to run this simulate we want to simulate uh, this uh, problem or this module but uh, this could be a steady state or transit simulation but uh, during the simulation we want to see how the simulation is uh, going and uh, uh, and uh, we want to record uh, some of the results uh, during the simulation so let's say we want to run a transit simulation and uh, we have some heat generation so i have already applied heat source into these battery cells and uh, we want to see how we can use report definition. So if you go into the solution there, you will see a tab report definition. You can define different parameters that you want to record during the simulation. So for example, we want to run some transit simulation and we want to record the outlet temperature. So we want to see how this outlet temperature is changing with the time. And also let's see, I have given name of these battery cells. So, so this one is the first battery cell. This one is the first battery cell. Yes, and uh, the last one uh, is probably this one. So 22. Ah, so this one is the last one. I ah okay so this one is the 21 so anyway we want to see how the temperatures are changing for these uh, uh battery cells for these battery cells with the time so we can define those parameters in here in report definition so when you right click on the report definition so you will go to the new and you will see a bunch of options so you can define surface report volume report force flux so you can go through all these so first of all so we want to record the temperature of the battery cell so for that we need a volume report because we want to record the volume temperature so there we can record the maximum minimum and all these temperatures so we are interested into the volume average temperature 
So we want to report, we want to record the volume average temperature of the battery cells one as the simulation progress. So here, here you can give it a name. So let's give a name cell underscore one underscore temperature temp and uh, here uh, volume average so what we want to record we want to record the temperature and uh, leave it static and uh, we, for which one so we want to record the temperature for cell one so select cell one uncheck these two report file and uh, report plot we will i will come to these two points later so anyway select this uh, cell one and click ok so this report has been added so it means now as the simulation will progress so we can monitor this uh, cell temperature average temperature similarly we can define a lot of report for example let's uh, define the surface report in surface report so as i said i want to record the outlet temperature so for that i need mass weighted average so because that is the surface the outlet is a surface so that's why we need a surface report and i want to record the mass weighted average you can also record area weighted average so here is somewhere yeah here area weighted average but i i'm just recording mass weighted average so it's up to you what you want to record so i want to record uh, mass weighted average so let's call it uh, outlet temperature so here i need to uh, select the field variable field variable should be temperature uncheck these two so we want to record the outlet temperature so minimize these all these so here you can see outlet so here i have six different channels one two three four five six so it's up to you you want to record the outlet temperature separately or at once so if you want to record separately so you can select outlet one if you want to record the average temperature of all the outlets so you can select all of these so click outlet so it will select all of these or you can select whatever you need so to select multiple selection you don't need to press control you just click so it will keep on selecting so with this one you can deselect and if you will click on the outlet so it will select all of these all these outlets so I have selected all these outlet temperatures and uh, click OK. So you can see outlet report has been added. There are a lot, a lot more uh, report that you can define. So another I would like to define. So let's see, we want to see the mass balance that you can also check from the continuity equation and that we also want to see from here. So for that, so let's record the total inlet temperature. Uh, sorry total inlet flow rate and total outlet flow rate and subtract these two so we should get the zero answer so let's start new report what we want to record we want to record the mass flow rate so for that go to the flux port and mass flow rate so what you can do you can go down and find out inlet or otherwise you can filter so if you write over here inlet so it will filter and uh, all those inlets will be here so just click this button so it will select all of these inlets. so it will give you the total mass flow rate in all the inlets so uncheck these so it doesn't uh, hurt to check this but we will see how it will work out so inlet flow so click ok then similarly we want to record the outlet flow so flux report mass flow rate and uh, want to record outlet flow so it is outlet flow uncheck these two and uh, click ok so you have uh, recorded inlet flow rate and outlet flow rate and the last thing so you want to subtract these two so for that you need expression so you will go to the expression select expression so here you can define different mathematical operations so select uh, expression and here you can uh, give it a name so here you will get a give it a name net flow rate or whatever you can write so here you can write your expression so in expression uh, you can uh, write a I will discuss in a video separately how you can use this expression so for the time being 
So you will go here to the report definition and here you will see all those reports. So inlet flow and then minus go to the report definition and outlet flow. So here I inlet flow minus outlet flow. So here you will get the net flow rate and click OK. So we have defined all of our reports. So here we have only defined all these parameters, but uh, we didn't tell what we want to do with, with these reports. So what we can do with the report definition. So let's see. So for that, we will go to the monitor and here we have two options, report file and report plot. So what we want to do, suppose uh, during this simulation, we want to see how these temperatures are changing and uh, what is the net flow rate. So for that, we want to plot during the simulation. So for that, uh, you will go to the report plot and create a new report, new report plot. And here you can give it a name, whatever I'm just saying plot. So here, from here, you want to select what you want to plot. So for example, I want to plot cell underscore one temperature. You will click add, add, and you will see all other things have disappeared. So you can plot only, you can plot, uh, for example, similar entities. If I have selected temperature, so only all those quantities will be left over here, which are having temperature. So I can plot, for example, outlet temperature and I can add this one or uh, if I want to remove, so select this one and remove. So let's say anyway, I want to plot this one as well. So let me give it a better name, uh, temperature plot. And uh, so here these information, so get data every simulation or here time step. So here you can select iteration flow time. So here you can select your X axis and you can select the frequency. So you can every time step, second time step, whatever you want to do. And here you can give it a name and here your X axis flow time. Or you can use time step. So normally we plot with the flow time so we can see how with the temperature it is changing and you can give it a name over here. So this is the name that will appear on this window. So uh, let, let's leave it as it is. So click OK. And you can see this temperature plot has been added. So similarly you can add or you can do for example, uh, you can add another one. So go to the new, you can create another one. So I'm just, I'm not changing the name, so you can do it by yourself. So, but anyway, here, for example, now we want to see flow rate. So inlet flow. So when I will select inlet flow, so I will left here with the outlet flow and net flow rate. All other entities will disappear. As I said, only the same, we can plot uh, same entities in a single graph. So if I select uh, inlet flow, add, and net flow and outlet flow rate so let me also select these two or uh, i just want to see okay outlet flow net flow and uh, inlet flow add and click ok so it means now we have defined two uh, graphs so these two graph will this will appear on this graphical window so these are only the representation. So I mean, you will see graphically, but you are not saving this data. So suppose we want to save this data. So for that, what you can do for that, you you will save a file. So you will go to the report file. You will define new report file. You can here give it a name. So same data, I'm just saying simulation data. And in file, you can write all those variables. They shouldn't be of same nature in file, but in uh, plot, they should be of same nature, but in file, they could be of different nature. It means we can save all these data. So I'm just selecting all of them and I will move here. So flow time cell one, cell one temperature, so cell one was already defined. So, but anyway, so here and here you can give it a name. So this simulation name, it is appearing over here and this name, it is a name it is the name of the file that will be saved in your directory and dot out is the extension so it is uh, just a text file nothing else so here here you can browse where you want to save this data so by default it will go into your this directory so you can locate this directory or directory 
or you can save wherever you like so let me save over here so i'm just uh, saving this data over here and i'm saying this one simulation data so i'm saving uh, simulation data and here i have defined my uh, folder where i want to save and all this data i want to save so similarly here get data at every time step so you can change at every iteration flow time so whatever you like so you can change so if you will have steady state simulation you won't have time step so there you will have only iteration so in steady state simulation normally you are not interested uh, data at every iteration so there you can say maybe every after every 10th iteration or more so but anyway so let's say at every second time step and here if you click over here print to print to console so you will also get those results on this console so i'm not okay let me do that and click ok once uh, you have defined your report and uh, you have selected what you want to save in file and what you want to plot so after that let's run the simulation initialize and calculate and uh, Maybe I will stop here and uh, once uh, I will have a couple of steps, then I will show you again. So we will continue. I will stop here and we will continue with the rest of the portion in the second part of the video. Thank you.